Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella. I'm a former lead designer of McFarlane Toys. I've done stuff for Toy Biz, Diamond Select. I'm also a comic book artist and creator. So all these books you see here are from my company, Mella Art World. I did all the artwork. Uh, I'm also the co-creator or creator of these projects. Uh, please stay tuned for after the video to find out how to get these great books. So today we have a beauty. We have uh, Ezio from Assassin's Creed 2 by Damn Toys. So this is an officially licensed product. I've waited about a year. Uh, that's when I, uh, I pre-ordered him. It was a year ago. Uh, this thing is exceptional. Uh, and yeah, just the packaging alone on this is fantastic. It's double boxed. So uh, I'll show you both, both boxes. Uh, and yeah, this is a really, really cool piece. Uh, this review is going to be a lot of fun, so I hope you enjoy it. So here's the second box, and it has a window so you can see the figure and, you know, at least the first tray of stuff that he has, because there are two trays. Um, and yeah, well, I'll, I'll be showing everything that he comes with, but uh, this one's a little more simple. Uh, like I said, you get the logo in the back, um, you know, the uh, the name of the product, obviously, Assassin's Creed 2. Um you know, pretty simple for what it is. But again, uh, I'm happy that they double box because I've gotten one in the past that, uh, yeah, the UPS destroyed the box and the first layer got damaged. The second was OK. So here he is standing straight up and down uh, right out of the box. I got to say this thing is beautiful. The amount of detail that went into this Um yeah, you could tell Damn Toys, they care about their, their products, uh, about the licenses that they pick up, because it is high quality. Uh, they also did the Leon uh, Kennedy, uh, that piece that I reviewed. Uh, again, another fantastic piece. I have two other assassins uh, that they made. Uh, yeah, the quality is um, some of the best. Uh, I think this, this probably blows the, uh, the Hot Toys version out of the water as well. Uh, from what I've seen anyway of, of photos and stuff. Um, yeah, amazing. So, uh, yeah, we're going to dive into this. i uh, give you a full breakdown, uh, some pros and cons. Not too many cons, but plenty of pros. <laughs> so here's everything that he comes with. Uh, the sword. This thing is beautiful. It is all plastic, but uh, the paint applications are amazing. The sculpt work, uh, it's, it's jaw-dropping. You know, look, look at all that, all the little detail they put in there, the etching, um, really impressive. I believe this is one of like the, the last swords you get in the game, like one of his ultimate weapons. Um, yeah, but really nicely done. It's soft plastic too. Um, so yeah, it, it'll, it'll work nicely and get into the hands good. Uh, here's one of his hidden blades. Again, exceptional detail that they did on these. Uh, one is slightly longer than the other. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the paint applications, there's even a little bit of gold in there. Um, I don't know how well you could see it, but uh, yeah, it, it is mind blowing. Mind blowing what they did. You know, but we know also that the video game, uh, they have great concept artwork, so plenty of good reference. Hands, fantastically sculpted. Uh, no seam marks that are at all on them. The paint is great. Um, again, the gloved hand uh, looks like a real glove. I mean, uh, yeah, the quality is, like I said, some of the best. Some of the best. So, yeah. Um, yeah so, he came with a nice little selection of them. Obviously, uh, two fists as well. You know, kind of standard. Um, you know. But, yeah, it, it works. It's, it's really, really good. And... Um, yeah, here is the other hand that he comes with, um, and the Apple of Eden from the game. Um, I had them in hand so it wouldn't roll around, but uh, there is a magnet inside, and the alternate hand he comes with to hold it also has a magnet. So, uh, yeah, uh, he is not going to drop this baby. Um, so you could display it any way you like. You could put it uh, down, hanging, and he ain't falling. So that was great. That was a really cool piece, nice addition that they added. Yeah, I love it. Oh, and his hair as well. That hair, that piece sticking out, and the ribbons, they were separate as well. And I, I just plugged those in, and there are bendable wires, so 
if you want them kind of in the wind you could do that so really cool this base is absolutely beautiful the detail again the metal nameplate um their bases are always really cool but yeah the uh, the dirt the rope uh the kind of rubble they, they did a great job and you get your legalese on the bottom uh, all that good stuff but yeah beautiful simple nice size and yeah and here is how uh the hidden blade goes into the right arm that cuff is loose so it's like a split cut kind of design so you can get full articulation out of the right hand which is brilliant great engineering and obviously the other one goes in into there so you could have his double blade action and i wanted to punch in and show you guys some of the detail on this the sculpt work uh that whole midsection piece uh so good um the material that they used uh he's got layers and layers of clothes detail uh, again assassin's creed they're they're kind of known for that for those cool designs um and definitely for the time period that the game was supposed to take place uh, and this was all in italy as well so uh yeah the quality is top notch the cape has a wire in it um kind of silk on on the on kind of satiny feeling on the inside um i yeah, i'm blown away um the whole design of this thing and i i have painted this character before in the past uh and uh yeah i've, I've studied him too and through the game and everything one of my favorite assassins so um I, i'm very familiar with this and the accuracy that they did uh mind-blowing so yeah, i also put a light on there so you could see a little bit better uh, some of the detail, the boots, uh, again, all sculpted. It's a split cut boot design, which is also very cool. We'll go over that on articulation. Um, the sash, he's got wires in that as well. Um, everything on this is just, it's mind blowing. Um, my hat goes off to them. Articulation, um, his head, uh, he's got a good range of motion. It's one of my favorite type of, uh, uh, ways that they they attach it so you could raise the neck a little bit or lower it uh you see some some of the detail the hole in the back where the hair goes plugs in uh i took it off just some for the purposes of the articulation segment so it won't fall off but yeah from great range of motion uh you know side to side uh, you can look up a, a good distance you can look down a great distance as well um you know good range a beautiful sculpt work too by the way uh, butterfly joint uh, for the shoulder, uh, ball joint as well in there. Uh, he's got the swivel at the top of the bicep, double hinge at the elbow. Uh, he's got the standard kind of peg and ball joint by the wrist, but since it's a split cut kind of uh, for the glove area, uh, also fantastic. You get full range of motion. Uh, yeah, re uh, full range. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it goes back a pretty good distance. He's got a little bit of crunch. Um, Side to side isn't too bad, considering like the midsection is kind of, it has all that um, kind of blocking it, but it's still pretty good. Um, leg movement goes uh, up pretty, pretty far. Um, you know, he does have double hinge by the knee, but the back of the boot hinders it just a little bit. Um, you might be able to kind of slide it down a little. Uh, split cut boot design, so full ball joint um, in the ankle, which is fantastic. And upper thigh swivel. So great range. And, uh, here he is with the hood on, straight up and down. Uh, I just want to say too, the hood is uh, wired. So um, you can get it looking pretty good, but it, it takes a little bit of work, uh, just so you know. Because, um, yeah, it, it is all, all along the front part of it. But yeah, uh, mess around, uh, see what you could do, but it works pretty well. The bottom um, uh, section of like his, uh, of like that kind of tunic part, um also it's all wired the cape is wired the sash is wired so uh yeah you can you can get some pretty dynamic looking movements out of uh you know when you're posing him and out of the material uh, that they used for like uh the clothes and all that which again fantastic look how it's just standing up like that it's not drooping falling or anything so it holds pretty damn well so uh, yeah i just want to make sure you guys were aware of that um and yeah, we're going to do a series of different poses, uh, and I'll, I'll have them side by side with another assassin too. Here's Ezio holding the Apple of Eden and his sword. Uh, more of like a simple pose, but uh, again, for, for people who, if 
they have a little bit of trouble kind of posing figures. That's why I do like this kind of segment. Uh, and I show just the different different poses you can get them in and, you know, kind of messing around a bit. But, uh, yeah, you know, very classic looking. Um, simple, but I think it works. Uh, and, yeah, it's, it's, it's really amazing. I mean, you could see all the great detail in them. Um, you know, just, yeah, I'm very impressed with this figure. Uh, if you couldn't tell already. <laughs> so, yeah, he's going to get a good score. Here he is in, like, a ready stance. He's about to attack uh, some horrible Templars uh, from the game. <laughs> but, yeah, again, like I said, you could you could put him in, in a lot of great poses. Uh, I try going a little bit more simplistic so that uh, he'll be able to stand a bit as well. But, uh, you know, you, you could get, again, dynamic movement out of that cape um out of the clothes so uh yeah uh I, I think this this definitely looks um you know pretty damn amazing from every angle um yeah uh, damn toys quality on this some of the best i've, I've seen uh he's definitely going to be in my top 10 favorites uh i gotta say that right off the bat the review the review isn't even done and yeah he's gonna get a great score but um yeah killer piece very very happy that i purchased this one And, uh, yeah, so, um, if you guys aren't that familiar with Assassin's Creed, um, I highly recommend picking up Assassin's Creed 2, uh, if you haven't yet. I know that they have, um, Ubisoft, they, or Ubisoft, however you pronounce it, they did, like, a collected edition, um, of the three games that they made for, uh, for Ezio, and they kind of, they tell this whole story pretty much. And there's also, like, a little animated one that they had done, uh, I believe it was like 20 minutes, either 20 minutes or, or a half hour, where they kind of finish off the character story as well. Here he is, side by side with one of my other favorite assassins, uh, the pirate Edward Kenway uh, from um, Assassin's Creed 4, uh, Black Flag. Uh, amazing, absolutely amazing figure. He's the one that his box actually arrived damaged. Uh, the outer one, the inner one was pretty good. But uh, yes, uh, I might be doing a review on him soon as well. If you guys like to see it, uh, please write in the comment section. Uh, he's another beautiful piece. Um, my first assassin that I had picked up from this company. And uh, yeah, he's just, he's incredible as well. But I wanted to give you at least a size comparison. And uh, there you have it. And uh, yeah, again, another pose where he's got a little more movement happening. Uh, and since it is Assassin's Creed, I wanted to show at least an eagle. Uh, that is also from Damn Toys, but he came with the, um, the Egyptian uh, assassin uh, Bayak from uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, I do not have that figure, but someone online was selling the bird by himself with the stand in the base. Uh, so he's an official product. Uh, I just I had gotten him separately. Um, I didn't pick up Bayek because, again, uh, a little too pricey, and I didn't like the joints in the body. Uh, and by that, I meant the um, the actual design of the figure, like uh, his joints are all exposed in the Bayek figure. Uh, and I, I, I prefer having them look a little more realistic. So if the design has like all the joints covered, that's what I kind of lean towards. But uh, wrapping up, uh, yes, this figure is absolutely incredible. Uh, I highly recommend it. So, uh, yes, um, if, you, if you could purchase him, go for it. Uh, I think he's going for close to 300 now, but when I put the pre-order in and everything, I got him for a little bit over $200. Um, but, yeah, shop around. Be kind to one another, but kick ass while you create. Hi, this is Vinny Tartamella, and uh, we have Through the Woods, hardcover book, written by Frankie Tartamella. Uh, all the artwork is done by me. It's a beautiful hardcover book. Let's take a look at this fantastic artwork. This is 98 pages, ghost story. Uh, I think everyone's going to love this thing. It's amazing. And uh, yeah, we have another fantastic project here, City of Venus. I wrote this one. I did all the artwork on it. Uh, another fantastic project. Uh, I'm going to be putting a link in the description to all the videos. And uh, yeah. So please check this one out, and uh, thank you very much. 
Both of these books are available right now and they ship immediately. So uh, yeah, take a look at the size difference as well. Uh, one's more in a European format and the other one's like a standard comic book. And uh, we also have two uh, beautiful art books here, volume one and two. Uh, these are 52 pages each. And it just has just a whole bunch of different stuff in here from uh, your favorite characters, uh, pinups, um, yeah, pretty much everything, and the kitchen sink. So uh, yeah, these are also available, and they're on the City of Venus campaign.